All right, welcome to this episode of the Hillbilly Repairman. Um, this week, I'm going to work on my trailer. I have a travel trailer um, up at my other property, and uh, the heater is squeaking really bad. I can't sleep when it's going, but I can't sleep if I turn it off because it gets too cold. So um, I'm going to take it apart and uh, see what's going on, and we're going to put it back together, and hopefully it's going to work. Um, I have a pretty good idea that the little bushings inside the motor, uh, there's no oil in there. It's kind of like a sealed thing where you're not supposed to service it, but we're going to service it and, uh, and see what happens. So let's go take a look. So I've been having this problem with my uh, travel trailer. <clears throat> when the heater comes on, this fan motor here makes a ton of noise squeaks and squeaks and sounds uh, so loud I can't really sleep with the heater on and uh, so I'm gonna fix that today I've uh, I've had it out before and it turns out that the bearings are um, they're kind of sealed and it, it's kind of a throwaway motor but they're expensive they're if I remember right they're like 300 bucks or 200 dollars and I don't really use the trailer that much. I don't want to spend that much money on it. So I'm going to force some grease down into the bearings and uh, see if that makes any difference. So let me get it out of here and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can't fix it at least enough to, to sleep with. All right, so first thing we're going to do is uh, unplug everything that we need to get it out of, out of here. So let's see. Okay, it took a little work, but I got it out. So what I'm going to try to do, last time I had this problem, I just kind of forced some grease down in there. And it lasted about a year, so that was not too bad. But you can see it's riveted together, so you can't really take it apart and service the bearings or the bushings, whatever's in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna take some motorcycle chain lube and I'm gonna try and spray it down in that hole, that little crack right here. And hopefully that'll get enough oil in there to last me another year or two. So let me do that and we'll, we'll see how it goes. <clears throat> All right, I got some grease on it. So now I'm just gonna try and get it back in there and uh, Bolt it back together.
Okay, just got to put a few screws back in it and then we'll give it a shot. Fire up the generator and see if it squeaks. This is kind of the worst day ever to do it. It's raining, or just about to rain. It's kind of sprinkling, but I need the heater on because I don't want to be cold tonight, so I'm hoping this will fix it. All right, so here's the heater going. Uh, this is actually my second trip up here since I repaired it. And uh, it's not squeaking, it's being nice and warm inside. And uh, for just a few dollars, it's fixed instead of 300 and something. So uh, if you got that same problem, I would say go for it. It's not that hard and uh, save yourself a bunch of money. All right, thanks for joining me uh, on the Hillbilly Repairman. This was my uh, second episode and uh, I'm gonna try for well whenever I get a chance I'm gonna do another one so um, we'll see you next time